In this vid, I'll cover two points in my impossible faith argument for the resurrection. Our focus is, what demands did the new faith place on its converts? You don't need to read the New Testament much to see that it has a lot of ethical demands in it. This was not one of the greatest barriers to belief in the first century, but it was a significant one, and it still is today. Ethically, the Christian religion was hard to do. Judaism was also, and that's one reason why there were so few Gentile converts to Judaism. Christianity didn't offer drunken parties or dalliances with temple prostitutes. It forbade them as well as all other vices, great and small. It didn't encourage wealth, it encouraged sharing the wealth. It didn't appeal to the senses, it promised pie in the sky by and by. Of course, it's not so much that Christianity would be rejected because of the morals it demanded, for indeed other cults of the period, and Judaism, also had much the same demands. Rather, it's because within the Christian paradigm, the reward for good behavior was so distant, and because good ethics could be had indeed in a far less demanding and offensive system. The argument is not one that assumes people could become Christian only by becoming morally austere. It rather is one that assumes that even the most morally austere will wish to be that way with the least amount of effort. That's one demand the new faith asserted on its converts. Another was the demand that once you committed, you were not able to be anything else. The Christians refused to believe in the gods who were considered the guardians of stability of the world order, the generous patrons who provided all that was needed for sustaining life, as well as the granters of individual petitions. Jews and Christians alike were accused of atheism because of their disbelief in the gods. Furthermore, because there was no aspect of social life that was secular, being that religion was deeply intertwined with public life, Jews and Christians alike held themselves aloof from public life, and that engendered the indignation of their neighbors. That was bad enough, but Jews too would be intolerant to the new faith. Jewish families would feel social pressure to cut off converts and avoid the shame of their conversion. Without something to overcome Roman and even Jewish intolerance, Christianity was doomed. Thank you. 